Good morning, everybody. Day 144. Wow, uh, we just left Trimpy Shelter. What time is it? About that time. It's about 9 a.m. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, we had a good little morning at the picnic table drinking coffee and chatting with another hiker. Yeah, I think his name was Dave. His name is Dave, no trail name. He's doing a long trail from Canada to the Panhandle of Florida, 2,400 and some miles. And he made his own backpack, which is pretty neat. Um, and today, we might be entering, I know we won't be entering Grace Highlands today. We'll be stopping just short of that though. Either somewhere around Fox Creek or Old Orchard Shelter. It's kind of like our plan. 10 to 14, somewhere in there. We'll see. We can start till 9, so it doesn't really matter how far we go. We'll be good, no matter what. And what else? Oh, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day. Yeah, sunny. Sunny, which is always good. And, yeah, I think that's it. That's enough of my, my rambling this morning. But I hope you guys... Have a great, great day. And I'll talk back with the cool stuff. And the views. You know. Just like I do, baby. So let's go enjoy the day. What do you think, Katie? I think. Yeah. Yes. I think so. She thinks yes. where it came from we're walking in this what I call like the ripples of the mountain and you look at a mountain they got little ripples we're in one of those ripples it's really cool super duper cool The sun's actually starting to warm things up. It's doing its job. I think it like took a couple of vacation days there, but now it's back at it. You're so pretty. It's amazing how close that dude was to get to it. I mean, it's right there. It's hunting season, man. Don't you know? What? There's more deer up there? We're surrounded by deer. <laughs> Pierre knows it. He spooked that one. See what them deer think about this. Wobblies! The views are pretty good. Off to the side here. Camera doesn't really pick it up very good because, well, it's focusing on everything else. Pretty in here. Pretty, pretty. That's Dickie Gap right here. 
So we just came out of the woods, boom, walked down this road just a little bit to the trail. And if you uh, worry about high water for Comer Creek, you take the road down, it's like a detour, I guess. We're heading to Comer Creek Falls. Nice new bridge. Thing is solid. Comer Creek Falls, everybody. So the bridge used to go from here to here, but there's no more bridge. And we're taking a break here. PR wants to go northbound again for some weird reason. Come on. Come on, buddy. I'm going this way. Oh! I'm actually going to cook a ramen. I haven't had a ramen in a long time. Yeah. Comer Creek Falls. Beautiful. Beautiful. Katie, this is the first time Katie's seen this. It's true. It was rerouted because the bridge is out. This big, big stream crossing. This <laughs> rerouted down a long ass river. Yeah, which is crazy. So, don't take the rerouter, high water route. Well, maybe after winter it might be flowing really good. But yeah, if the water's high. I don't know. Maybe. I've always crossed it. Ooh, really hot. my water's probably boiling. Nope, not yet. Hurricane Mountain Shelter. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. This thing's built good. It's all big logs cut in very, very nicely. Look how nice these are cut in. That's some good cut in there. <laughs> so I got to upload. I uploaded a video here. And we took a how long a break today? Half hour? 45? Long enough to eat a meal. Yeah, we both ate a meal and drank coffee. It's like 3.30 probably. I don't know what we're going to do. Fox Creek, the road down there is 3.2. And then I don't want to be by that road. So we might just go down here to the camping for this shelter area, get some water, and then go up on this next ridge. And try to find a site. A warm site. Yeah, a warm, kind of warm site. It'll be warm because we'll have cell phone service up there. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I don't know. Cell, that's the last place we have cell phone service till five times now. Which should be, we could be real close there tomorrow, if not there. Uh, but who knows? Over mountain shelter, or not over mountain, sorry, hurricane shelter. <laughs> it's some mountain shelter. It's some <laughs> shelter on a mountain on the AT <laughs> in the middle of the woods. So, yeah, look, I got this nice fire pit too. What do you think, Pierre? You want to stay here or you want to move on? Hi, Blaze. <laughs> We're a mile, well, 0.7 now from the top of this climb. We're going to try to find a stealth site up here on this ridge somewhere. We're just on the other side of it, who knows? We'll play the wind. 
Come here. What you doing, buddy? Can't hold. Can't hold. He's so dry, he's not even peeing. He's dry firing. <laughs> he lifts his leg up and nothing comes out. Come on. Hey. He's dry yeah. firing. Let's go find a campsite. <laughs> All righty, guys. End of the day recap, day 144. We left Trimpy Shelter at 524.3. And we're now sitting at the stealth site right before we get down to Fox Creek. Uh, 513 makes it an 11.3 mile day. And today was pretty nice, actually. Pretty super chill. <laughs> yeah, we left camp at like 9 and just moseyed most of the day. So it was good. Really good day. Nice and pleasant weather. Wasn't cold, wasn't hot. And yeah, I didn't want to get to Fox Creek because I knew being a weekend, that camping from there up to that shelter is probably going to be all slam packed. But you never know. Playing it safe at this little stealth site. Katie, you got anything you want to add? Yeah, PR's resting really good over there. Oh, somebody asked where PR sleeps. He sleeps right in the hammock right next to Katie. Last year, he used to sleep in his own little gear hammock underneath the hammock, but saving weight, didn't bring it. So, yeah, right next to her. All right, guys, that's a wrap on the day. 144, 11.3 miles. And I hope you guys had a great, great day. And I'll touch back with you guys in the morning, baby.